That was great! Wah, jeez, wah, this is like a Colite voice, but kind of not the same. Did you know I sound kind of like Colite? Just a little bit, just, just a little bit. Why is his voice harder to do than the actual Colite voice? Probably because it's a Colite voice, but it's like slightly modified. Hmm. Welcome back, everybody! Oh my gosh, it is time. Well, it's probably time to do some logic, honestly, because, I mean, unless I have to present one of these things, there's a good chance that, well, I'm probably done talking to her, really. Which is a gosh dang shame, because I just looked at the freaking video to see how I voiced her again, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of like a little, this is a little bit Colette-like. I'm probably going to lose it again in, like, five seconds just because of reasons, I don't know. I, I knew it had, like, some kind of, like, it was kind of similar in a weird sort of way, but I just couldn't repeat it for whatever reason. Like, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying, and I'm trying, but I can't do it. Mm. Alright, what we got here? Uh, Alicia went to Mr. Master's room to study his desserts. Hmm, the cream is melting, a single touch can cause the break. Well, I would only have to assume that these are related, so I'm gonna connect these right now. Yay! No game over! Woohoo! The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So my shoes got cream because the room temperature was set at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of which... When you open the castle door, the doorknob didn't break. Yeah, it was stronger than I thought. Strong. A dessert. Detective Bad, could you have a closer look at that doorknob? Dot 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 dot. This is... it's real! we have seen this doorknob is in the dessert. And it's not just a doorknob, the castle and the fairies are just plastic mold coated in fresh cream. Yeah! Then this isn't a dessert piece at all! It would seem they're just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. Fake desserts? Delicia made fake desserts. What are her true intentions? Probably to destroy everyone, right? It only makes sense. Hmm. Alright, what do you gotta say about this? This thing that I found. Oh, nothing. That's a gosh dang shame, you know. That is a real gosh dang shame. Alright, wait, wait, what bad? What do you gotta say? You got anything you to say? No, nothing. Alright, logic back to the lodge. We gotta go ick to the logic. Two pillars of a hexagon, I don't really what were they for? Hmm. Are these anywhere related at all? I have no idea. I'm gonna try it out though. Oh, I have a full bar again! Yeah! Sweet! I didn't realize that. Hmm, no good. That line of logic seems too unreasonable. Uh... Uh... I don't know... this, maybe? Nothing makes sense anymore! Could it be... I don't think that- I don't think beating to death would link to anything, would it? Unless it- unless it links to hexagonal recess, but I don't think that would be the case, would it? Hmm... At least you went to Mr. Master's room to study his desserts. Hmm... I don't freaking know! I feel like I gotta- oh my gosh, come on! No way! So, none of these- so it has to be beaten to death with something, then. Uh, uh... I don't know. <laughs> did, did you do it? No? Okay, you didn't do it. That's good to know, I suppose. Alright, well, this full bar is about to go bye-bye really quickly here, so let's see. What about that? Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, was beaten to death used for fake desserts, perhaps? Maybe that was the true intentions! Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I'm accusing you of murder. What do I do? Literally, what do I do? Aren't I... What? Oh, no. Do I have to deduce? No, I don't. What? Wait, I didn't examine these? You're kidding me. Two... Two... I... Ah. Oh. Two big rocks replaced here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey! Hey, there's a few... There are raw gemstones? Who knew that they were such treasures hidden within the castle? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Hmm. It looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there is a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. Pedestals of rock. The rocks in the castle have pedestal attached to them for some reason. <sighs> so the reason why nothing linked together is just because I didn't freaking have all the logic I needed. Gosh dang it, I thought I had all of it. Of course, it's the pedestal for displaying the gems. Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. All right, all right, all right. Hexagonal recess with the pedestal rock. Okay, then. That's cool. Do that. Got it, got it. Mm. The rock's pedestal is a similar shape to the recesses on the castle's pillars. Perhaps a rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars. No, that's right. They're both hexagonal. I wonder why they were hidden inside the castles, though. I wonder too. Are we just like, is that it? Like, are we just not doing anything more? Are we just back where we were and we're stuck again? What do we do? Are we talking to you again? What? What do I do? Am I still missing something? A temperature gauge? Didn't I already examine this though? I mean. Yeah, there was no, like, I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. There was none of that going on, so... Hmm... Did he say I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny? What?! Lies! I didn't examine the blue things either. I thought it went to the center of this freaking door! I'm so confused! So I examined the door then and not the freaking blue thing or the yellow thing? How'd that happen? Oh my gosh. There are rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah, I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Oh, that's true. That is true. Blue cloth in the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia. Those things in the castle, what are they used for? Well, those, I'm afraid I can't tell you. Looks like... <laughs> That's the wrong voice of Ben now. Looks like Von Karma's keeping her silent. Hey, I've been, I've been found out. You'll get mad at me if I talk. Oh my god. You'll, you'll get mad at me if I talk. Prosecutor Von Karma doesn't intend on being upfront with his information. Ah, it's such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you're interested in my goods? Eh, your goods? Those are my popular relaxation goods. You mean the rocks and the cloth? Yeah, she. That, that's right. You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made from rock salt. Why is this voice so hard? <laughs> I don't get it. Wow, so those are lamps. <laughs> that gets even more exciting. Because this cloth also has an amazing secret. As soon as we showed interest in her goods, she became quite talkative. Since we got them out, come experience the therapy, boys! Batty, could you put everything off? It's not Batty, it's bad. So you, you won't do it? It's Batty being the bad boy! Dot 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 dot. Labby, are you done photographing this room? Yes, sir, I am! 
and go help Delicia. Yes, sir, I'm on it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wayne tried to do you were a good boy underneath, Batty! Miss Delicious, that was amazing! You even persuaded Detective Bad! Thanks a lot, Batty! You, you two frenzies! She even gave the forensics a nickname! I think that's her way of showing she cares. What what show therapeutic about these things anyway? We don't have time for that now, Batty! That show's about to begin! Fringy's finishing judges, please! Yes, ma'am! Oh my gosh, I swear. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's so beautiful. It really is. I wish my son could see this. Boy, I told you something right! The four fairies are the curious candy castles to leave my work. It's so sparkly cute, right? It seems like one of them is missing something. One of them is missing something. I don't see it. I still don't see it. No, 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 nothing. The truth is, I planned to reveal it during the contest. Well, I'm glad I got to show you, boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lighting up. Oh, I wonder why. I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. Well, go do that then. <laughs> Since the circumstances have changed, we should investigate the scene once more. Yes. The fluorescent cloth behind the fairy dolls. And the rock. Salt land concerns me. Why were they in the castle? No. Why were they hidden inside the castle? I knew it. That woman smelled, but not a sugary sweet smell. We need to have another look to see if there are any problems with the scene. Well, I suppose we should. I suppose we probably should. I don't see what problem. I see what the problem is. I see what the problem is finally. Oh my gosh. It took about five years, but I finally see it. Oh, you have something to say new, huh? I see. What are you going to say about this now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I, 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 I'm gonna say just give me a minute on that one. Just give me a minute. I like the other fairies. This one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. Miss Delicious, it's not right to leave one out. Well, I don't like it either. Blash! What fluorescent cloth and machine's got a machine? You've lost a cloth and a machine. What sort of machine is it? Why, well, let me tell you! These pieces of fluorescent cloth are so dumb for one of these machines. Machines called a flame light device. Light shed through the cable and into the cloth. It's made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with the settings a bit and it'll turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it looks like a raging inferno. When it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. How my long lasting battery is positioned to change in temperature. I'm, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. Mr. Edgewood, she's saying it's a machine that transmits light to the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So the, so the one light device and one fluorescent cloth are missing. Yes, she is last right. Where could they be? The fluorescent cloth. Could it be related to the case? Fluorescent cloth added to the court record. Changes color with the rainbow light device belongs to Alicia. One of them is missing. Hmm. Well, that is interesting, I would say. Alright, bad, what do you gotta say about this? Watch. Would you stop bothering me? 
I don't want to talk about this cloth. Just because it's important doesn't mean anything. So excuse me. Alright, what do you guys say about this? So nothing new, but I will talk about cloths. Why? Looks like it's just kind of why. There's a way the cloth works. I wonder if it's okay for me to tell you about it. Dot dot dot. Sorry, but I can't talk about this cloth. What? That was strange. I wonder if Von Karma told him to stay quiet about it. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it has him. <laughs> it's a cute candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. Cloth in the back, along with the decorations, really give it a magical atmosphere. When you look at it, it almost feels like you're spellbound. I kind of forgot to look at Manfred Von Karma, didn't I? Hey, he's the oldest looking 49 year old I have ever freaking seen. Are you kidding me? This is not a 49 year old dude. Not at all. Nope, nope, nope. He's gone completely gray. Ridiculous. Age for, I mean, Manfred Von Karma, age 49, gender male. Prosecutor in this case holds the legend of being undefeated for 25 years. <laughs> Only 25 years? Come back to me and you've been undefeated for 40 years. That's when you really have done some great things in your career. It almost feels like you're very spellbound. What we need to look for is the hidden truth of the real world. Don't be fooled by the fairies. Well, what if I don't? What if I don't want to be fooled by it? It's the same thing again? Okay, it's the same thing again. Ah, man! Alright, let's examine a the castle then in that case. Because it's not completely obvious what the heck we have to do here, right? Not at all. So this is where Delicia originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. Is Alicia intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest? It creates a contradiction with the piece of evidence. I need to deduce the contradiction at the scene. I thought the contra- wait, what? Yeah, sure, whatever, I don't know. The Shazarch made my shoes all dirty. <sighs> if you come any closer, your shoes will be covered in cream, too. We've already seen what's behind the door. There's no need to look again. But what if there was a need to look again, huh? The castle door is adorned with a beautiful cloth. I think this was the cloth that was in the castle. Entrance ways are always beautiful. That's what the detective thinks. Yes, after Detective Bad's shoes are, have trampled all over it. But this is no time for snide remarks. Or is it? Alright, let's talk about some blood, shall we? It looks like both the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both of the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. Some sort of red stain on this lamp's surface. The stain, could it be? That smell, there's no mistake in it. It's a blood stain. Blood st- blood- blood- bleh. Blood stained rock salt lamp. Someone's blood stain was left in the rock salt lamp. Well, indeed. But I was going to deduce that though. What? Am I not supposed to deduce it after all? Eh, yeah, th that's a blood stain. Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. I mean, I already did. And now I did it again, so there you go, you're welcome. Alright, well, I mean, this should be a very easy to do, so I would think. Is the spot someone connected to any of the evidence I hold? The answer would be yes, of course. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's the only one that has blood in it. <sighs> anyway! Detective Pad, look at this. Don't you think it's strange? I think what's strange is your deduction. Clearly this blood stain has nothing to do with the crime sheet. Are you an idiot? Clearly this is someone else's blood. Ugh. If your brain isn't working right, well, then it's due to the lack of sugar. Oh, 
I'll sell you one of my lollipops for two bucks. Sounds a tad high. Is there no evidence of a contradiction with the castle decorations? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pause real quick. All right, I'm back, and I still have no freaking clue what to do. I would have thought, oh, let's do this thing, because it's obviously gonna be related to crime, so let's do that, but no, apparently not. So my next idea is actually gonna be, it sounds weird, but maybe I'm gonna deduce that with this? Eureka. No. What am I deducing? Literally, what am I deducing? <laughs> if it's not the crime scene notes on the bloody rock, and it's not the fluorescent thingy on the fluorescent thingy, when there's one missing, then what is it? There's nothing... what else? That's bothering me now! Take the bed. Don't you think this looks strange? No, it's not. You're an idiot. Stop being stupid. Well, I mean, this is red spots. Uh, are you telling me to deduce this one? Why would this make any sense? I'm deducing it. Ah, uh, dang it! I literally don't know. Uh, logic! Let's see, uh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Uh, was I supposed to do this first? I was supposed to do this first, wasn't I? There's evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right, it could have been used as a murder weapon, as a weapon specifically. But also a murder weapon, of course. Blabby, there's a blood analysis on the rock salt lamp finish. What do you mean is it finished? You literally didn't even ask me to do that until just now. How could I have finished it before I even started it? Yes sir, it finished just a few moments ago. The blood stain in that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard of what he said. Rock salt lamp added the court record, placed in Delicia's room, stained with the victim's blood. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicia's room. Would you consider her as one of the suspects as well? Guess we kind of have to now, don't we? Hmm. Alright, well this is for all, you know what, just because I'm already like really deep into this episode and also deep into the save and I don't want to redo all this stuff again. I'm just going to save right now. Just going to do that because I don't want to have to redo that or make a pause or anything like that. When I've already made a one pause in this episode, so uh, yeah. There was a garbage truck outside, that's why I had to make a pause. It was being loud. I was like, oh gosh, I better, I better shut this freaking video up for a little bit. So, yeah, anywho, where was the rock salt lamp? Heck yeah, let's check that. Ugh, a vivid blood stain was left behind. I can't believe the murder weapon came from inside the candy castle. Wait a minute, it's too difficult. If it's too difficult, you don't have to look at it. I'm fine, I'm going to become a lawyer after all. Are you going to become Apollo Justice before Apollo Justice became a thing? Apparently, that's what's going to happen, I guess. Huh, I see. You have a promising future. Well, I'm sure that was definitely sarcasm anyway, but yeah, what? What is this? This rock salt lamp has a hexagonal base. The recess in the pillars must have been made to match the shape. After all, they fit the pillars in the candy castle perfectly. Oh, do they now? What if I examine the dry side, huh? This rock salt lamp doesn't light up. Hmm, it's a shame. It appears to be broken. Uh, I really wanted to see it light up. I want to experience the calming glow too. With blood included, of course. Maybe you should try putting one in the office. With blood included, of course. I feel like that'd be a good one. Alright, let's do that. What? So if it's not that, then what? I like what strange your deduction skills, you idiot. 
No. I've come this far, only to lose hold of the truth. But it seems all hope is lost. Thus the truth was lost for all e all time. What you said all eternity before, now you're not going to use that line? Okay, I see how it is. The truth was lost for all time. Well then, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Hmm. Stain with the victim's blood. I mean, okay. So, how do I proceed then? We already know these aren't connected, even though I tried that before. Because I tried that before, I should say. So, I'm gonna go ahead and present the rock salt lamp to you then. There's no mistaking it. This is what took the victim's life. Choosing a weapon like this, perhaps the murder wasn't premeditated. Does that show that woman hit the victim with this lamp on a sudden impulse? It feels like the sweet smell of desserts has been tainted by the smell of something fishy. Galicia, are you hiding something? Well, maybe she is, maybe maybe she isn't, who knows? Alright, what do you guys say? Nothing? Alright, what if I show you this? No? Nothing? Are you serious? I'm starting to go a little nuts here. One rainbow light device and one fluorescent cloth have gone missing. Will there be some connection to the case? Why was that slow? I don't understand that one, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. There were all the tools used to make desserts. Everything from a bucket of fresh cream to a brush and a trowel. Looks like a construction worker's tool. Hmm. Hey now, boys, don't underestimate don't 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 underestimate Sweden's work of a pastry chef. That's a completely different construction work. Where they cover the walls with cement. I'm so wrong with this right now. Why we use the trowel to smear the cream and the brush to clean with any uneven parts? How uh, how ugly? Uh, how is that? I forgot how to do voices, apparently. How, how... Can I stop working a little bit more, please? How is that different from construction work? There we go, my gosh! Well, that's nothing new, anyway. What about this? Yeah, that's nothing new. He's like, oh, hi there! How's it going? Sir, yes, sir! Okay... Uh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Ray, what do you got? Nothing? Cool. You're useless. What do we do? Literally, what do we do? I am lost. And confused. As heck. I don't know. Does it hold any special meaning? Is there anything that looks like the Signet Crest here? Perhaps, uh... Would these things be the same as the Signet Crest, maybe? Uh... Oh my gosh. I just... Mmm... Huh? Would I present the crime scene notes to this? I don't think this is related to anything, though. So, no. I, I feel like that's a waste of time right there. Have I tried the crime scene notes on this? Specifically. Eureka. Detective Bad, look at how terrible I am at... Getting things, even though, like, you know, how am I not getting this? Come this far, I want to be not getting things and losing the truth for all eternity, of course. Thus the truth was lost for all time. Yay! 
We lost it for all time. It's another game over. Oh my gosh, pile on game over after game over. Uh... Maybe go to this one? Nope. Well, I'm not- I'm really not sure what to go with on this one. It's like, what is, what's going on here? How does this make any sense? What am I deducing? Wait. Wait. I have a new idea. I have a new idea. I'm going to try it out. <coughs> right now? Right now, and if it's not it... If it's not the answer, I'm ending this episode. If it is the answer, well, I don't know. This reason will be judged having from lunch afterwards on any of the decorations not made from desserts or prohibited. What? What? Alright, you know what? I don't even know. I feel like that could go for that or that could go for the door, because this isn't dessert. Eureka. Alright, well anyway, I'm gonna end this episode, as I was saying I was going to do, or hinting at it at the very least. Once again, I'm in a predicament, and this time I actually game over. So that's fun. But anyway, the next exciting episode, maybe seven more game overs. Woo! Gosh dang, the, I, I'm so curious how this mistake counter slash game over counter is gonna look at the end of the game. It's gonna look completely imbalancing, it's gonna make no freaking sense. Gosh dang it. Well, anyway, everyone, I'll see you all later. Next time's gonna be more chaos. Mm -hmm. Chaos control!